if you want to shatter a pumpkin at home, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So all these products are things that you can either buy at a supermarket or at a store close by in your own hometown. Things that you're going to need. One, a pumpkin. Uh, I got this at Trader Joe's. It costs $5.99. We have a knife for cutting off the top of the pumpkin. We have a smaller spoon for scooping the guts out. A marker for actually drawing the face on your jack-o'-lantern. A bag to put all the guts. Any bag will do. And now to actually deep freeze the pumpkin, we're not gonna be using liquid nitrogen. We're gonna be doing an at home method using isopropyl alcohol, which is a fancy name for rubbing alcohol. Now it has to be greater than 70% because the other 30% is water and that water will freeze because what we're using is dry ice to freeze the isopropyl alcohol. We're not actually freezing it. It's not turning into a solid, but it will drop to negative 108 degrees Fahrenheit and that is plenty cool enough to shatter your pumpkin. So we have a bucket, I got this at Home Depot. It will fit the pumpkin once we dunk it down in there. Oh, and some water because it's hot out here. So let's get carving this pumpkin. So when cutting your pumpkin, now the reason that you can shatter the pumpkin is that you're, you're getting the pumpkin really, really thin. You're almost getting just the skin. Otherwise, if you're gonna deep freeze just a solid pumpkin, there's too much fiber and water on the inside. You can't actually freeze it the whole way through. So in order to do that, you must carve out the pumpkin like a jack-o'-lantern and carve so much of the guts all the way down to where you're basically just getting the skin. <laughs> Every once in a while, you have to take the knife back out again. It's really no big deal. It doesn't matter what it looks like. You just want to be able to get your hand in there properly to de-gut your pumpkin. I found it a lot easier to put the knife in there first. You kind of cut around a little bit. This will help get all the, the guts and the seeds and all that junk. Pretty much have a little liquid goo in there. These are some pretty good seeds. If you can find a really strong spoon, that's what I would recommend. Now, it's gonna be this for about an hour. I'm gonna need some paper towels. Now, the cool part is, is that the longer that you do this, uh, the, the less like gooey it becomes, it gets more like fibrous. Very pumpkin. What you'll notice too is this, is that there's these grooves here. And at some point you're gonna get it down to where the spoon is literally gonna be fitting in between these grooves and it'll almost be guiding you. You can see we're starting to get a hollow pumpkin. It's gonna get a whole lot more hollow. And don't be afraid to manhandle the crap out of this thing. I mean, they're pretty sturdy. Ah, shit. Now this should be thin enough for us to shatter this pumpkin. I'm gonna grab this marker. And we're gonna carve the face. Now we have this huge protrusion, which was totally my bad. So I'm gonna somehow try to make probably the mouth out of that. Let's just go with the, let's go with the mouth. All right, so that'll be the pear-shaped mouth. So there, that's our pumpkin right there. We're gonna go back with our knife here. We're ever so delicately going to cut this out. Okay, so we're now gonna have a Franken pumpkin. So we're kinda here in our final stages. The pumpkin gets kinda weird at this point because it gets like slushy on the inside. You can almost hear it, so you wanna get to that sound. Uh, so when you carve out the top to get it really thin, you can either do it with a knife or you can do it with a spoon. There's your super thin top. And right now, we're gonna take this pumpkin and we're gonna put it into the freezer so that when we come back, we can deep freeze it in the isopropyl alcohol and dry ice and then shatter it. Our pumpkin's in the freezer and what we wanna do now is create the solution to freeze the pumpkin. Isopropyl alcohol will reach negative 108 degrees Fahrenheit if you put dry ice with it. Now, the big caveat to that though is it has to be as pure isopropyl alcohol as possible. Uh, at CVS, we bought 91% isopropyl alcohol. I bought this from a prop house because uh, we're out here in LA and there's a lot of these. This is 99%, so it's about a gallon. So we're gonna mix our 99% with our 91% and we won't have too much water in there. The reason that matters is because water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, we got the dry ice at just 
a window. That sounds kind of weird, but it advertised dry ice. You can actually find dry ice a lot of places. It's what they use to cool down a lot of beverages. This piece right here of dry ice, which is about the same size as a brick, this costs $3. Um, isopropyl alcohol only costs about $3. I got an entire gallon for $25 of the 99%, so you can do this pretty inexpensively. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and break this up just so we can have more surface area. All right, that kind of hurt. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this and dump this into our bucket. Dry ice reacting with the air there, turning into a gas. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the before I get to this, there's one thing that I forgot. All right, I'm gonna do this slowly because I don't wanna get splashing all over me. I'm gonna use the corner. We're gonna get the instant reaction. Um, that would happen if you put water in it. What we're doing is we're super cooling our isopropyl alcohol. You can actually smell the alcohol as it's evaporating. What's happening is it's getting super cooled in the dry ice, which is nothing more than solid CO2, so a solid state carbon dioxide. It's hitting the warm isopropyl alcohol and turning it into gaseous, gaseous CO2 carbon dioxide. I'm gonna go ahead and add our 91%. While we're letting that chill, we're gonna go grab the pumpkin. So we've had the pumpkin chilling now for about an hour. You can feel like it's already brittle. I mean, this is kind of like a Christmas ornament. If I were to drop this, it'd probably break right now. It's freezing time. And now we hang out for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna go grab my baseball bat. Okay, we have thoroughly chilled our jack-o'-lantern. You can pick this up. It's not quite liquid nitrogen. It's not gonna burn you on impact. Um, it is definitely cold. I probably wouldn't hang on this too long. I'm gonna go ahead and bring, you can tell it's really cold. It's starting to evaporate as is. I'm gonna go ahead and place our little right up on top there. That thing's about a negative 108 degrees Fahrenheit right now. All right, batter's up. Three, two, one. It shattered. It shattered just like the nitrogen. Wow, that was that was all at home. So kids, you can do that at home. Shatter your mind.